professional auction service is owned by my brother Tim Jennings and myself and uh, having been lifelong horsemen it's very exciting to be able to be involved with the sale of horses of this quality. Uh, we do understand the importance of the sale of this horse to, to a lot of people and are going to put our best efforts into helping these horses realize their best value. Uh, I can tell you since the contract award was announced we've been contacted by uh, Horse people literally from all over the world already with an interest in these horses, so we expect the bidding to be active and these horses to bring good value. Um, I, have, I can say that in the site visit and what I've seen around here today, the, the government and the contractor taking care of these horses done an excellent job. The horses are in good shape and are going to give us a very good opportunity to sell these horses uh, for high value. Now, our, uh, our company actually has been in business for this will be our 34th year. My brother and I have managed uh, a little over 330 horse auctions during that time. We've uh, had a good bit of opportunity to sell nice quality quarter horses over those years. Uh, a lot of the American Quarter Horse Association World Championship show entries have been of the halter horse type, much of what you'll see here, as well as the horses for Western Pleasure and Hunter Under Saddle, again, uh, the type of horses that were being bred in this program. Uh, the number of these World Championship trophies that are, are seen in here today, we've seen on the table right after they've won them at the major horse shows, so we do have some familiarity uh, with these horses as individuals. Uh, we've also had some opportunity to manage auctions for other major organizations such as the National Rain Cow Horse Association in Reno, Nevada, and the All-American Quarter Horse Congress, which is the world's largest quarter horse show in Columbus, Ohio. And you'll see. Uh, the term Congress champion used a lot. Uh, that's almost equivalent to an AQHA world champion. Uh, a lot of the horses in this program have either won those or have produced offspring who have won those type of awards. And what we'll be doing is putting a team in to uh, supplement the care that's been um, done by the marshal service and the contractors here to try to prep these horses for sale to where they'll be appealing to a broad group of people. Obviously, in a group of 400 horses, you'll see horses of a broad variety of values. The um, world champions and horses that are the top show horses and their sires and dams with, with proven records will be at the top end of the scale. You'll see horses in what we'll call a mid-range value, probably down to maybe even a few hundred at some point. So I think there'll be a, an opportunity for people uh, at, in all walks of life to come buy a horse out of this program. Some of the yet unproven young horses or maybe the older mares have been ways people can get in at a reasonable cost and that average family out here will have a chance to raise their champion somewhere down the line. So uh, we're, we're hoping to encourage everybody that uh, is interested to come see the horses to follow things on the website. And um, a traditional auction is pretty easy to, to explain. A lot of you have been to auctions but uh, the uh, horses will be available for viewing here at the farm for three days prior to the auction actually occurring. And um, so they'll have a chance to come inspect the horses. We'll have pictures and information about the horses online prior to that point so they can do their homework and research. And then the, the live auction will take place at some at scheduled times over those two days. Now, uh, we, we did announce a Sunday and a Monday uh, date for those auctions. And uh, normally we do our horse sales on weekends. We've done some during the middle of the week. But September is an extremely busy month for large horse shows for the core horse industry. And uh, one of the type of shows we call Futurities. And a Futurity is a show for, I guess, your future champions. But it's, it's uh, in the halter industry, their weanling and yearling classes are the important classes. In the Western Pleasure and Hunter Under Saddle business, those are for two-year-old and three-year-old horses. And with those activities going on in Texas, Tennessee, and in Iowa, we had to schedule around those events. Uh, one of the major halter events is going on in Iowa from the 19th through the 23rd. So in order to, one, take advantage of the proximity of those people coming from all over the world, and I'm done right, I'm going to try to hide that under something here. Um, <clears throat> but we, we scheduled to sell the performance horses. The Western Pleasure and Hunter Under Saddle horses will sell on Sunday the 23rd. And then on Monday the 24th, we're going to schedule selling the halter horses so that the people that attend that show in Iowa, which is only about four hours away, that they can make time to come over and not have to decide which event they're going to go to. So we tried to do that to schedule it, making it available to the largest number of, of people active in the industry that we can. For a weekend sale, people are usually going to have to take off a, a day of work to travel if they're coming from out of town, so they would just take Monday instead of Friday in, in this case. So. Um, we hope that that's going to fit in the schedule to, uh, to benefit the most people. 
Now our um, online auction is something that's relatively new to the horse industry. A lot of folks that have dealt with eBay and a lot of other products have done online auctions over the years. We started doing online auctions for horses back in January and have held four during the course of the year this year and have uh, sold horses that have gone from California to Pennsylvania, Florida to, Cal uh, to Colorado, Texas to Canada, and uh, seeing a lot of, lot of horse traffic and a willingness for people to participate this way.